everybody, Morgan with the Venanza here, and today I've got a new balloon column designed for you. It's narrow in the center and flares out to a giant 36 inch balloon on top. I'm also accenting that with some balloon pearls on here, as well as some fairy lights in the center. So follow along and I'll show you how to make this. The supplies you'll need for today's project include one 36 inch balloon and I've chosen the color black. You'll also need 45 inch balloons in black. 24 gold 11 inch balloons and then I'm also using nine 260s in gold as well. To make this project work I'm also using some glue dashes or glue dots and to spruce this up I've got a string of battery operated fairy lights that I'll be adding at the very end. To help inflate everything I've got a hand pump as well as an electric inflator and to help me consistent balloon sizes I'll be using my homemade balloon sizer box which I'll have linked up above as well as my video tutorial on how to make this balloon stand. This has got a five foot pole on it and I'll have both of those linked for you. I'm starting off by inflating all of my gold balloons. Now you're gonna have eight balloons in each size. So eight nine inch, eight seven inch, and eight inflated to six inch. And I'll just use my balloon sizer box to help me get some nice consistent sizing. I wanted to pop in and let you know that I have a balloon recipe to go along with today's project. This is a downloadable PDF that includes detailed supply lists, illustrations, and written step-by-step -step instructions to get you through the entire project. I'll have it linked below in my shop, or if you join my Patreon at my party beaker level, you'll have access to not only today's balloon recipe, but my entire library of digital products. So check out my Patreon membership or the shop below if you'd like to up your party game. And until then, let's get back into the project. Once all the gold balloons are inflated, we need to tie them together into quads. So I'm gonna take two balloons that are exact same size and twist them around twice and tie the nozzles together. I'm gonna to repeat this with two more balloons of the same size, so I have two pairs. I'm then gonna bring those pairs together so that their nozzles cross in an X and then twist two balloons together and that will secure them into a quad. Then repeat this step until all the gold balloons are secured into quads. The next thing to do is inflate all of our five inch black balloons to four pumps each. This is gonna make them about four inches across, but the important thing is to just be consistent and making four pumps is gonna give us the exact same size for all these balloons. Now, just like we did with the gold balloons, I'm gonna tie these together into a pair and then bring those two pairs together into a quad. So in the end, you should have 10 quads out of these little black balloons. Next up is to inflate the 36 inch topper balloon. But before I do that, I'm going to stretch the air out of this 260Q and tie a knot in it. This is gonna keep air bubbles from forming because we're gonna use this 260Q to secure the bottom of our 36 inch balloon closed, as well as using it as an anchor point to tie it to our column. So I'm gonna go ahead and inflate this 36 inch balloon to about 30 inches, and that way it's got some flexibility in it still. And while holding onto that nozzle, I'm going to take the 260 and securely wrap it around a couple times, making sure it's nice and snug, and then just tying a knot. I don't want to make sure I'm putting this knot about in the center of the 260 because the tails of this 260 we're going to use later on. Now we can hop into assembling our column. So I'm going to take my 9 inch gold balloons and press it around the base of our stand, making sure that the nozzles of that quad are pressed right up against the pole. And then I'm going to take two of those balloons and twist them together so that the pole is trapped right between the nozzles and the twist that we've just created. I'm going to follow that up with our 7 inch balloons and do the exact same thing, making sure it's against the pole, twisting two balloons together to lock it in place, and then gently press down on it to make sure everything's nice and snug and you can't see the pole in between the balloons. I'm then gonna follow this up with our six inch balloons doing the exact same thing before moving on to adding the black balloons. They're all gonna go on in the same way and we're just gonna work away all the way up the column until all 10 of the black quads are adhered to the pole and then we're going to reverse our gold balloons going from smallest to biggest at the very top. It's easy for that top quad to pop off the pole while you're trying to twist two balloons together. So I like to hold onto the pole with my right hand while I twist the two balloons together with the left, and this keeps it from slipping off the top of the pole. To secure the topper balloon, I'm going to take the tails of that 260 we tied to the 36 inch balloon earlier and then gently pull that down between two balloons of that top quad, wrap it around one of those balloons, and then 
wrap it around a balloon from that lower quad and this is going to secure that topper balloon in place. So I'm going to repeat this with the back tail and then bring the two together and tie them in place. And this is going to make sure our topper balloon isn't going anywhere and stays really nice and snug with those lower gold balloons. And at this point, you could totally stop with a completed column, but I want to add a few extra embellishments. So I'm going to make a chain of pearls out of a gold 260 balloon, and I'm going to inflate this with my hand pump, making sure I leave about six or seven inches of uninflated balloon on the end burp that balloon by letting a little bit out before tying it off. Now I'm going to make a pinch twist on the very end of this by going about one inch in, pinching the balloon and twisting it about four times, grabbing the nozzle, bringing it down to where we just twisted it and twisting a couple times more. This is going to secure that pinch twist and then we're going to continue to make bubbles that are about one inch in size by just pinching the balloon about one inch down and then twisting it about four times to secure everything in place. It's important to always twist the balloon in the same direction and to never let go of the previous bubbles as it can totally unravel on you. To keep it from unraveling, I'm going to slide the balloon between two of my fingers right where a twist is and that's going to hold it in place while I continue to make bubbles down the balloon. Making bubbles ends up using a lot of the latex balloon up and pushes the air to the end of the balloon. And that's why it's so important to underinflate this balloon than to have too much air at the end. You can see here that I've got it just right, but it's better to have a little less air than to have it be really tight like this at the end. Once you've made bubbles on the entire length of the balloon, we're going to secure each end of this to our column using some of these glue dots. Apply one to your first bubble on your chain and gently stick it against a balloon, preferably on the underside, which will hide our joints. Then wrap the bubbles snugly around the column, weaving them up and down between the larger balloons. Keep doing this until you get to the end of your 260 balloon. You're not likely to get all the way around your column with just one balloon. So when you get to the end, just add one more glue dot to that final bubble and stick it on the underside of a balloon as well. To cover the remaining distance around the column, I'm going to make another chain of balloon bubbles with another balloon, but this time I'm not going to do the entire length of the balloon because I only need to cover that specific distance. So I've made enough bubbles here, I'm going to pinch really tightly around that last twist and then snip off to deflate the rest of the balloon you don't need, tie it off against that last bubble, and then cut away whatever is remaining. Once you've got that done, you're just going to take another glue dot and secure it to the underside of the balloon and to the last bubble of the previous chain. This will make it look like it's one long string instead of a couple stitched together. So here's a close up where you can see I've got two bubbles that are from different strings that I'm just gonna stick together so they look like they're one. final touch for this column is to add a string of fairy lights. So I'm going to take the battery pack and hide it deep between some of the gold balloons so it's right against that center pole and then I'm just going to string lights up the entire set of black balloons making sure I'm weaving them in and out in a really consistent way and then whatever I have left of that fairy light string I'm just going to roll up and tuck between two balloons so you can't see what's left over. If you're inspired by today's project and give us a try. Whether you're celebrating a graduation or a New Year's Eve party, this is an awesome color combination for that. And with a few extra elements like the balloon bubbles and the lights, you're taking your whole balloon game up another level. So I hope you enjoyed today's project and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe below. I'd love to have you join my creative community as I do all kinds of event tutorials, setups, and balloon projects just like this one. So until the next time, you can check out some of my other videos over here. And remember, stay creative, everybody. Bye.